Hi, today we will go through how to build the Knowledge Metaverse with Eon Merged XR. This is based on Eon's spatial creation platform uh, that uses AI and something we call Eon XR Knowledge Portals. Um, in essence, what this does is that it helps you create Merged XR experience in minutes <laughs> and it's based on four simple steps. One, scan the environment using your phone. Two, take pictures. Three, pick and choose the objects you want to illuminate or inject knowledge in. And then let the Eon AI portal do the rest. We have been able to take what used to take uh, days with Eon XR 9.0 to hours. And what normally took hours, or at least an hour, it's now possible to do literally in minutes, sometimes less than four minutes, to create a very extensive learning XR experience. So you can use it in academia or in enterprises for learning, training, and performing. Are you ready? Fasten your seat belts. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is to scan uh, the object. For that, you use your phone. Uh, you simply swipe the area that you want to create and uh, the phone is capturing that in form of a scan. So now you have a digital twin. You import that digital twin using your mobile device. So in this case, I go to Eon XR and connect with Merged XR. I import the file. I'll drag the file that I see there and I put that file and now look, it has been accepted. The next step is to select what type of category this belongs to. That's also done. And now the Eon does the magic. It's preparing, uploading and adding this uh, scan to my library of 3D asset converted. So now all I have to do is to overlay this twin over the real environment. And let's do that. First, I call my asset something. I create my lesson. I load it. And here it is. You can see that it's a digital twin of a physical environment that I just, which is the table and my computer and the iPhone. Today, I'm going to focus on the iPhone. Uh, so what I do first is I take the digital twin. I overlay it, as you can see there, over the physical environment. And then, uh, abracadabra, I make the digital twin invisible. Let's look at that. So now there's the digital twin, and now it's invisible. All that remains, let's do it, is the ability to see the various annotations. So now it's time to inject knowledge into my XR experience. For that, I take pictures of the objects that I wish to inject with knowledge. In this case, I picked the phone, so I take pictures on my phone. There you go. There are the pictures. Now comes the, what we call pick and choose. So here is where Eon Spatial Creation Technology comes to strength because it enables user to physically walk in that environment to each of the knowledge portals that you'll see in a few seconds and pick and choose among the digital assets that the Eon AI portal has identified. So AI does the work for you. All you have to do is like shopping, going and picking and choosing. That may sound a little bit abstract, so let's have a look. So here's the AI portal. Uh, it identifies what object it is. Look, it sees that it is an iPhone and what type of iPhone it is. It also noticed that it has AR as a feature. Uh, and yeah, that's correct. I had right there my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So now once you click on the image, the AR portal uh, then matches that and your knowledge portals come to life. Not one, not two, but about a dozen. Let's have a look. So here's the the first one, oh, that's the ability to add 3D and 360. Let's look at the second one. Oh, that's 3D recording. And now we have PDF, AI portal, audio, quizzes, videos, 
memos, locate, identify, image, and last but not least, languages. So let me just make it clear what's happening here. So the artificial intelligence has gone out on the internet and looked at rich digital media and picked up for you 12 different data sets that you can pick and choose what you want to have in your lessons. So this may not seem remarkable, but just to give you a perspective, it used to take literally at least 10 minutes or five to 10 minutes for each of those 12 to be identified by you having to go out on your desktop, finding the right thing. Now, artificial intelligence, that's that heavy lifting. Okay, so what's next? Now that we have all that, uh, it's time to get, first of all, the AI portal is in place and it's time to add some 3D objects and 3D images. For that, all I have to do, location of where you are if you wanted to are ambient audio and um, scene narration basically when somebody plays this uh, tour you could have ambient sound coming in, in the background so if it was me and so all I did there is I'm adding to my scene maybe additional 3d object that has multi mesh or a 360 to provide context to my environment and that's coming to place that's pretty easy so now, let's do, see it. It bounces and it's illuminated. So now I have a 3D and 360. What's next? Now it's time for a 3D recording. What's today's attraction? What if nothing else? The iPhone Pro 12. Uh... Yes, so now I also have a 3D recording, which can be extremely useful when I'm doing my guided tour for the end users. So let's move on. So now I'm going to walk to the knowledge portal and I'm going to pick and choose among the various PDFs that the artificial intelligence has selected that matches iPhone uh, 12. And voila, I picked this one. I thought it was pretty cool. So now I have my PDF in place. I'd say let's move on. Same principle, walk, pick, and choose audio based on suggestions received from AI Portal. New iPhone 12 Pro Max is the only member of Series 12 to pack the new and improved triple camera on the back. This might be even enough to entice users who may not even be after the max size. That is how a proper upgrade should be done, by updating every aspect possible, not just the design. New iPhone 12 Pro Max... So that's that. Now let's put that into place and move on to next. Oh, <laughs> I'll, this is my best part, quizzes. This will be used as a part of the assessment to make sure that whoever goes to your experience and needs to be tested, can you can verify and the system will do so whether he has or he or she has got the concept. So the first question in the quiz is, what is this? Is this a Mac? That was a pretty easy one. Um, and so now that's in place. Now let's move on to the next one. Walk, pick and choose video. Singular new design, a re-engineered chip and 5G. This is iPhone 12 Pro. The vertical band is precision machined from stainless steel. The ceramic shield on the front is tougher than any smartphone glass. And tighter borders allow for even larger Super Retina XDR displays. The custom-designed LiDAR scanner puts advanced depth mapping technology in your pocket. You can now take a night mode portrait and unlock a new world of possibilities for augmented reality. Yes, I thought that video was very suitable for what we're talking about, which is XR.
Okay, so now it's time to walk, pick, and choose language. 새로운 아이폰 12 Pro Max는 뒷면에 새롭게 개선된 트리플 카메라를 장착 한 시리즈 12의 유일한 멤버입니다. 이는 최대 크기를. So now we got my language. Uh, let's move on to images. So I selected this very cool image of the backside among many that were offered by the artificial intelligence uh, support. So let's add the image. And now let's go to identify. So this is a part of the assessment and I need to identify which phone it is. Not only that it's an iPhone, but uh, in this case, it's an um, iPhone 12 XR Pro. And another uh, thing regarding the assessment has to do with locate. So I need to locate among the things in the room where this iPhone is. And I was able to do that pretty easy. So uh, that's all automatically generated. And finally, walk, pick and choose. Doesn't provide a whole lot of grip. Memos. That plus the phone size and heft make it not. So there we have the memo. So with this, we have it all now. So uh, we have completed the pick and choose process. All knowledge portal, digital assets have been selected. Let's see the joint concert all together now. Oh, wow, that was a lot of voices at once. I don't expect you to watch all the <laughs> knowledge portal ones, but it gives you a perspective of how rich the knowledge injection is with merge texts are and how rapid the creation process, in fact, is happening. So now we've done. All we have to do now is to close the application and share it. We can publish it and users can come and experience this in four different modalities. The first one is to explore freely. The second one is to follow me on a guided tour based on the uh, 3D recording. The third one is get a challenge, a contest, going through the assessment process. But last but and not least, invite your friends, teleport them to a special meeting. Let's see how that works. So let's start with exploration. So here we see the free exploration. You can see that the systems recognize it, the iPhone, the notebook, the mesh, and it's enabling me to check things out and a little bit like I'm walking in a forest, looking at mushroom, but it tells me what I'm looking at every single step of the way. I really like the exploration because it makes me <laughs> carefree and I can do whatever I want. It's that freedom. Now, the second one is the guided tour. This can be comfortable. What's today's attraction? What if nothing else? The iPhone Pro 12. Uh, yes, as I said, this makes me comfortable because I can just relax and watch and see the highlights that the creator has prepared for me. And now, are you ready for the challenge? So this is assessment mode. That's when I going through things like identify, things that I prepared uh, in the creation process. Uh, other th things like quizzes. In this case, simple quiz, what, what is I'm looking at? Or why not locate the ability to select the items? Now, it gives you endless opportunities as both a user to to train, whether it's a factory environment or a hospital environment. In this case, it's a very simple uh, environment with my temporary office. And last but not least, let's go to spatial meetings. Bing me up, Scotty. This was my dream since I was a little kid, which is the ability to teleport you from one location to another and experience uh, digital twin environment that someone else has recorded and explore it, walk through it as if I was there. Let's have a look.
So the white avatar that you're seeing there happens to be my chief technical officer. And I offered him to join me in a session. And obviously he went straight to my computer and tried to check out my passwords. In any case, I hope you enjoy this presentation. Um, if you want to learn more, you can contact us. Uh, I need to remind you that we are launching a competition this month targeting 10 million crowdsourced XR experiences from around the globe. Every morning we seem to get hundreds and thousands, hopefully soon, of experiences from all corners of the world. If you don't have a license, don't worry. It's uh, free, up to five experiences. And if you want to join as a partner, reach out. Thank you so much and talk to you soon. Bye.